fashion twist. This is my first time doing it, so if mine doesn't look as superb, bear with your girl. I need oil. And the reason you're gonna need the oil is because you're gonna use it to moisturize your rubber bands, because you're gonna need rubber bands. And I have some in here. You can see like there's you can see there's oil at the bottom of this. I just put oil in them so that when I'm trying to like grab my hair like I did with this one, it's easier for me to grab it because I don't need no friction. And it also helps in like I think it will help in preventing breakage. So the other thing you're gonna need is some jam. The reason the top is not on for this video is because I literally poured my oil into the top for this thing, but this is the top for it. Pour the oil, like I showed you guys a few minutes ago, in here, and then I put the rubber bands in here so that it can soak in the oil. So I'm ready to like get going with my hair. I'm all set, bye bye. You're also gonna need a crochet pin. That's if you're gonna do the method I'm showing you. So without further ado, let's get to it. Don't forget you need your hair. That's important. I felt like that was like the giveaway. Not a giveaway, but a... Yeah, you get what I mean. Shout out to Believe Hair for sending me my packaging. We're gonna talk about them and their patience because it's been a while since I got them. But the hair came in this kind of like stack. This reminds me of when I was like younger. There was a thing called telephone wire where you would just take the hair, you put your hair in a ponytail and then this would be your ponytail. Like. Who would have thought that our ponytail from Telephone Wire hairstyle or packing gel hairstyle would be what we can use to do our hair? Like, I never thought of this, but it's actually like, it's kind of cool. If my eyes have like makeup stains, I just took out my makeup and I just recorded a different look. And I'm just trying to get my hair done before I go to work. So, we were my, we were my struggle right now. Okay. So, I originally did my hair and it came out looking like this, the back, like this is all rough. So I was like, I'm looking at my mirror by the way. So I was like, no baby. So it was looking rough and then the curl pattern was like this. And the goal is to have a curl pattern that's more defined like this. So you can see the difference. So I was just like, no, it's not how you do it. Mind you, when the hair is done in this curl pattern, it still comes out cute, biting like this. I was like, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna redo this hair and fix it. So I'm still using the same hair bundle from Belief, but it's like I got some like stuff in here. So I'm gonna go sh I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna transition this hair. This is the plug to getting your curl pattern to look the nice way, come out the nice way. So if you're not sure if your curls are coming right, sir, like saturate, saturate your extension in this any type of jam, but get you some, okay? And I'm also gonna use my Mega Growth Breakage Cream. This is gonna help me like pretty much um, get my hair moisturized and things like this. I mean, it's gonna be in protective style for a while, so I need to get that together. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna fix my mistake because I realized this was this was not it. Like this was this 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 was just not it. So I'm gonna be parting my hair with my cotton comb or like my parting comb, whichever one you guys call it over here. And I'm gonna go in with my mega growth moisturizing cream. It's also helped to help me like prevent my hair from breakage. I'm gonna make sure I saturate my hair in this, like, because my hair is gonna be in this protective stuff for like at least a month. So I need my hair to be protected. So I'm gonna just like soak it in and drain it or drench it, whichever way you wanna say it. The next I'm gonna go in with my jam. You can get any one. And then this is what I'm gonna use to help mold my hair and then kind of like create like my baby hairs in a way. So I'm gonna just sleek it on there and then I'm gonna put it in the back so that when I'm grabbing it, it's like so smooth, it's easy to grab the hair. When you use the gem, it makes it easier for a beginner who's learning how to do hair to make their hair look neat and to grab it. I'm just taking like an old toothbrush and then trying to slick my baby hair so that when I'm done braiding, it just still has like that nice swoop to it. Pardon the forehead gang, gang, gang. So I'm going to take my little black rubber band. I'm going to tie my hair with it. I'm going to repeat the step again for the other parts of my hair. I'm parting and trying to make sure my parts are even or as even as I can make them. So I'm repeating the same steps. You can see I'm putting in my mega growth. You always want to moisturize your hair when you're gonna do any kind of protective styling like this because you're not gonna have access to like moisturize your hair as much as you should be doing regularly when your hair is not in the protective styling. I'm gonna just take my rubber band like I did before and just tie it. You wanna make sure you're not really looping the rubber band against your hair too tight. 
and you're gonna see why in a few minutes because i did some of them too tight so it makes it harder for you to push the pin through or push the braiding hair through so you want to make sure it's tight but not too tight tight and loose at the same time if that makes sense and then i'm going to just take my pin when i'm pushing the crochet pin i'm pushing it underneath the rubber band and you don't really need to have the pin open or closed because it's going to open regardless if you push it through the hair so i'm just taking like two strands of my extension and i'm going to add my jam to it the jam helps me mold the two strands together so like it's easier to pick it up than when it's separated and the hair feels like it's separated you're going to mess it up so i just put the hair onto the little pin like the little hook like if like if you're going fishing you're going to see in a second you put it in the hook and then i close the hook and then i'm going to show you guys you can see that it's closed so that means when i push it underneath my hair it's going to go smoothly so now I'm going to just drag it and show you guys like close. This is what it should look like when you're bringing it underneath. Then you're going to just drag the pin backwards and then boom, the hair is there. So the next thing I'm going to do is push my actual hair to the side so I can focus on what I need to do. I'm going to create like a little loop. And in the loop, you can see like I can fit my fingers through it. What you want to do next is to take one strand of the hair, not the two, one strand. This is what the, one of the mistakes I made the first time I did it. So you take one strand of the hair, put it through the loop, then instead of taking just that one strand and trying to make it tight you take the two strands on each side and pull them against each other and then boom you have like a nice knot trust me it's not like a knot that's gonna hurt your hair then you take your actual hair and you divide it into two to match the extension and you push it back just in case the rubber band was pushed down just to make it firm and then you just start twisting and i twist my hair to the left and you want to take your time doing this while I'm twisting the hair, I will get some jam in my fingers so my, my fingers have some kind of like oil, something that makes my hand not get stuck in the hair. There's no friction. Everything is smooth. Everything is just flowing as it should be flowing. So you want to make sure you're getting that and you just keep twisting to the left. Sometimes your hair pattern might be twisting to the right. So you want to follow your hair pattern when you're twisting this. That way you can have the nice curl pattern. If you twist the hair when you're done twisting, it doesn't have a nice curl pattern and it's not defined like the way mine is. How you know that? you didn't twist the hair right and there's nothing wrong like it's this hairstyle was a trial and error i did it at first and i did it the wrong way and i tried a new technique and i realized what works for me so i wanted to show you guys i was gonna add the wrong technique but it's like i feel like that might be confusing when you're watching how to learn how to do passion twists so i'm gonna just like explain with this way so i'm gonna repeat the same step you can see i'm taking the bundle of the extension and i'm taking one strand out and i'm gonna take another strand out the hair kind of gets tangled easily not kind of it does get tangled easily so now you see my two strands i'm putting them together it gives me like a perfect strand and then i'm going to take my jam and i'm going to just like coat the extension in the jam so that the hair can be molded as one so like when i'm braiding the hair or twisting the hair you will not know the difference that is actually two separate strands it makes it easier when you don't do this it's really hard for the hair to like flow with you so I'm repeating the same step of pushing the pin underneath my hair. And you can see the pin is open. It doesn't really matter because by the time you push it, it's going to open it anyway. Then I'm going to put the hair extension on the pin. I don't know what I saw on my hand. And then I'm going to close the pin. I'm very like cautious about this because I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. So take your time. You don't need to rush. And I'm just pushing it. You can see that the hair, the rubber band on this side was kind of tight. So I didn't pull it as nicely as I should at first. So I just take the pin off once I'm done pulling the hair underneath my actual hair then I create my little loop take my little one strand of the hair extension make sure you pick up the two since you have two separate strands pick up one set of the two strands and put it through your loop and then you actually are going to push your hair to the side so you're not getting it through the loop because that's it's gonna get tangled you can see I'm pulling it and creating my knot you want to make sure you're pulling it firm and tight that's how the hair can last a little bit longer then I separate my actual hair into two parts and I just get to twisting like I did in the previous clips. The one thing about this hair is that it's nice quality for like the price. So I did get it from Amazon. The hair does tangle easily. So this kind of hairstyle is not a hairstyle you're meant to like use for like a month, maybe like a couple of weeks, two, two to three weeks, less than a month, but not exactly a month. As you can see, I'm slowly showing you guys how I twist the hair to the left and take my time because I'm trying to follow the curl pattern of the actual extension. Take my hair and take my flexi rods and I'm going to roll the ends because I want to put the ends in hot water. This I learned that this technique will help my hair or my ends stay nice and neat because the first time I did it, when I didn't do that step, it literally messed up 
and it was unraveling so it was looking like it was just a hot mess like you can see from the beginning like when the hair was getting old it looked like a hot mess it doesn't matter which direction you twist your hair in the flexi rod then i'm gonna take my towel and then gotta protect my body from them steam because that hot water is gonna be burning so i'm just gonna prepare myself and put my hair to the side and you don't really have to get the flexi rods even so i'm just showing you guys the, my bucket of hot water i'm gonna like literally let my hair just sit in there for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds and you want to be careful so you don't burn yourself but it's like i'm using such a big bucket that it's hard for me to burn myself and i kind of tilt my head in there so i can make sure i'm getting every strand of the hair that is in the flexi rock curled so that way it's almost equivalent to when you burn the ends of your hair with fire if if you know about this uh, technique it helps the hair at the end stay nice and firm so it doesn't unravel which is a nice way to enjoy your hairstyle so keep that in mind now i'm just gonna like use my towel to basically soak up the extra water from my hair and when you're doing you're doing the stuff you want to just be careful that you don't burn yourself and then you can see what the ends look like it might not look as nice when you see it but trust me it works like it's gonna work by the time your hair dries up it's gonna be nice you just see how the ends look all natural like i pre-stretched the hair even though i didn't so now i'm adding some braiding beads to my hair just to give it some style because when i first added the first braiding bead you can see how nice it looked and that's pretty much it hope you enjoy this tutorial